All right. Hi, guys. So yesterday, you all learned about what an array is. This was a new word we learned yesterday. And you all did such a great job going around your house and your neighborhoods and finding arrays in real life. And you probably found that we see arrays everywhere and we use them every day because arrays help us organize things. See how I'm organizing my hearts right now into nice little rows and columns? So arrays make it easier for us to organize things and so we can use them and so we can count them, right? Remember yesterday how I had my jumbled mess and that was really difficult for me to count. So I put them in rows and columns so that way I could count them easier. Well, today we're gonna learn about how to write an equation, an addition equation, to find the total number of objects in my array. So right now I have hearts. So I'm gonna write an equation to show me the total number of hearts in this array. Remember total, we use addition, we add to find the total. Okay, so just in case we forgot, columns go up and down and rows go side to side. Okay, so here's my rows and here are my columns. And for our purposes, every column is going to have the same number of hearts. Do you see that? All my columns have three hearts. And all of my rows are going to have the same number of hearts. So this row has five hearts. That row has five hearts. And that row has five hearts. So let's write an equation. First, I'm going to start off by saying how many hearts I have in each row. So remember, I said I have five hearts in each row. So an easy way I can write this equation, I can just add my plus sign right there. Looky there. I have five plus five plus five is what? Five plus five is 10, plus five is 15. So right there, there's my total. Very cool, okay. I'm gonna write another equation because for your work today, you're going to have to learn how to write two different equations to find the same total for your array. All right, so this time I'm gonna add up how many hearts are in each column. So remember, I have five columns, so I'm gonna have five little blank spots. One, two, five. Uh-oh, we're gonna go off the screen a little bit. Okay. So how many hearts are in each column? How many hearts are in each column? Two, three. One, two, three. And I don't have to keep counting because remember, they are the same number. And I can, I know that just by looking at it. There's going to be the same number of hearts in every column. So whew, let's add this up. I know you can do it. Ready? Three plus three is six plus three is nine, nine plus three is 12, 12 plus three is 15. So how many hearts are there total? There are 15 hearts total. Now look, these are the same number because they both represent this array. Both of these numbers, both of these equations represent this array. So this array. So that way I don't have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I just go, oh, and I'd probably use this equation. But I would go, oh, I know I have 5 here, 5 here, 5 here, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. There you go. So let's look at our work and we're I'm going to try to do this a little quicker. I'm going to go ahead and erase all of this. All right. So 
here is your worksheet that you're going to have. And you're just going to look a lot like this. And as you can see, I've already done this once when I practiced. All right. So we've done that. This is the problem we just did. So I'm going to come down here and yours is going to look a lot like this, except it's going to have little diamonds instead of buckets. So it says for the first equation, add the number of pails or buckets in each row. So it wants me to know how many pails are in each row. Here are my rows. And I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five pails in that row. And I have five pails in that row. And we know five plus five is 10. See, we know our facts, so we can do this. Then it says for the second equation, add the number of pails in each column. So here's a column, here's a column, here's a column, here's a column, and here's a column. How many pails are in each column? Two. And look, it gave me lines so that I can go ahead and fill those in. All right, now let's double check because we know these have to be the same to be true, right? Because they both represent this array. So let's double check. Two plus two is four. Four plus two is six. 6 plus 2 is 8, and 8 plus 2 is 10. All right, very good. You just wrote two equations to represent this array. All right, so that's the first page. The second page is going to look a lot like that, except it doesn't have the little lines down here for you. So maybe draw those to help, because those help me a lot. You don't have to draw them, but that helps me. And remember, I'm using addition because I'm gonna find the total. So first, it says write two equations for each array. Find how many in all, find how many total. So first I'm gonna write an equation for how many stars are in every row. So I have one, two, three, four, five stars in this row. One, two, three, four, five stars in this row. So there's a row, there's a row, I have five stars in this row, and I have five stars in this row. All right, let's add that up. I have five plus five is 10, plus five is 15, plus another five is 20. So there's my total number of stars. Now I have to write another equation. Now I'm gonna write an equation showing me how many stars are in each column. One, two, three, four stars in that column, plus four stars in that column, four stars in that column, four stars in that column, and four stars in that column. All right. Now let's add that up to make sure it's the same. I don't want to just put 20 there without checking because I might have been wrong here, so let me check. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus another 4 is 12, plus another 4 is 16, plus another 4 is 20. There we go. So there's my total. So now we know how to do that for this one, right? I'm going to model this one just to show you all how to do it again, give you another example. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to write two different equations. First, I'm going to start with how many triangles are in each row. I have three triangles in that row, three in that row, three in that row, and three in that row. Let's add that up. Three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12. All right. Now we're gonna write another equation just to make sure. This time I'm gonna write how many stars are in, or triangles are in each column. I have one, two, three, four in this column, four in this column, and four in this column. Four plus four is eight, plus four is 12. Uh-oh, look what Ms. Factor forgot to do. I didn't follow all my steps. It wants me to finish the sentence. There are 20 stars. There are 12 triangles. Look you there. All right, and I'm not gonna do these problems right now. What I'm gonna do 
looky here. You know how I usually say this is not your worksheet? This is not your worksheet. This is. This is the worksheet you will be turning in. I'm going to go ahead and do this problem with you. So you can pause this video, go find your worksheet and follow along with me, or you can watch it and see if you can remember what I did. So that is up to you. So you can pause and go get your worksheet, or you can just watch and see if you can remember. And you can always come back to this video. So it says, Jeremiah makes an array with 25 toy trucks. So imagine my hearts right here are trucks. Just imagine, use your imagination. He has 25 in all. And he has organized them into five columns. So remember, columns go up and down. So I have 25 trucks. It wants me to figure out how many trucks does he put in each row? So I know my columns and I know my total. Whoopsie. Okay. And I want to figure out how many rows. So I could draw a picture. I could draw 25 trucks in five columns. One, two, three, four, five. Or I can try to write an equation. So you can pick which one you want to do. Do you want to draw a picture or do you want to write an equation? You can do both ways to make sure. Or you can just do one or the other. So what I'm going to do, I know I have five columns. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure I don't go off the screen. So this is what my equation would look like and the total would be 25. So I wanna find out what these numbers might be. So that makes sense. Here's our total and I wanna find what these numbers might be. So I'm gonna draw circles to represent my trucks. Okay, so I have one and I'm gonna go like this because I don't yet know how many to put in a row. I don't wanna put a whole bunch in the row and not be right. So I'm gonna go this way. I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, I have to have the same amount in every column. Can't skip one. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, not to 25 yet. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, underestimated the size of my errors, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, so how many trucks did he put in each column? He put one, two, five. He put five trucks in each column. So he has one, two, three, four, five rows. I could write an equation that looks like this. Let's make sure that's true. Five plus five is 10, plus five is 15, plus five is 20, plus five is 25. That's true. So I'm gonna finish this up. He puts five trucks in each row. So this is that equation that you have, but I wanna see that you've worked it out. You gonna write me an equation or are you gonna draw me a picture? So you can look at this, you can follow along, or you can try it again on your own and see if you remember how we solved it. All right, I'm gonna pause the video. Oh, don't forget to do your pages because I'm running out of time.